An ad in the race for a state Supreme Court will come off the air after today after concerns about its content and the people involved. You may have had some questions about it too. Political reporter Jessica Arp tells us which claims are misleading in tonight's reality check. A Jefferson County case is dramatized in the latest ad from Wisconsin Alliance for Reform, a conservative group that's been running ads attacking Judge Joanne Kloppenberg. She told police about her father's abuse. When she was six, he asked her to touch him. At age 10, he asked her to expose her breasts, and he was convicted of showing her video of a sex act when she was 12. This is misleading. A girl did report to Fort Atkinson police the acts described in the ad, but James Hunt was found not guilty by a jury of sexual assault of a child. He was found guilty of causing a child to view a sex act for showing a video to the young girl on his phone. And that's where Hunt's appeal came in. But Judge Joanne Kloppenberg voted to reverse his conviction on a technicality. This needs clarification. Hunt made the case to the appeals court that Jefferson County Judge Randy Koshnick should have allowed testimony from a man saying he never sent the video the young girl said she saw. The judge didn't allow it, saying how Hunt got the video was not relevant. The appeals court disagreed, said the testimony was relevant and it could have affected the jury's opinion of whether Hunt was credible and ordered Hunt to have a new trial. The Supreme Court said Kloppenberg was wrong and upheld his conviction. This also needs clarification. The Supreme Court in a 4-3 decision reversed the unanimous decision of all three appeals court judges, not just Kloppenberg. Justices agreed that the testimony was relevant and shouldn't have been left out at trial, but said they felt the jury would have convicted Hunt even absent the error. He spent time in jail, is a registered sex offender, and is now on community monitoring. The family of James Hunt has been arguing that this ad is slanderous to him. And while you may have seen the ad on the air before and today, Wisconsin Alliance for Reform says out of respect for the victims in the case, they're taking it off the air tomorrow. I'm Jessica Arp with this News 3 Reality Check. If you have an idea for a reality check, you can send it to us at realitycheck at channel3000.com.